Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is Joel Spoles here, back again at the speed of light and welcome to week 4 of the IDL which stands for the Infinity Draft League where we face Professor Chewy, the coach of the Bellevue Farfetched. So coming into this week, our record is 2 wins and 1 loss whereas Professor Chewy's record is 1 win and 2 losses. So Infinity Draft League, great place to be at and it's fun all the time for me at least and hopefully for you as well. So before I begin this video, three things, three important things. So first is a sorry note I need to give you for the last video cause it was bad. You know a video is bad when you can't even hear a person and that happened because of how loud the music was in the video so hopefully that never happens ever again and I'm really sorry to you guys for that incident or whatever you may call it accident incident or anything now second thing my upload schedule so most people watch these ideal videos so I thought this is the best place to say my upload schedule other than a uh, uh, what you may call it an update video of course but I thought this is the best place to tell it my upload schedule I've not really uploaded for the previous week so it might just go on for this week but next week onwards it will be back on track because school just began and I'm not getting enough time so hopefully it will be back on track next week onwards and sorry if I don't upload any videos for this week but hopefully next week also before we begin with this video hit that like button down below if you like my content if you don't like it then hit the dislike button and tell me what I need to improve on in the comment section down below it really helps a lot just like last video when he told me that my audio was messed up also share this video with other Pokemon lovers so more people watch my content and I can put a smile on many more people's face also subscribe if you're new to me for more fun Pokemon content so guys let's just get on with the video so first the set that I'm bringing on my Pokemon so the first set that I was bringing was the Curum black with the life orb it was max special attack max speed uh, timid with earth power hidden power fire ice beam and uh, the last move was I believe outrage because uh, you know just I didn't know what to put once again just like last week so I just straight up went for the outrage because it, it did so much so I just put that outrage on there then the second Pokemon I was bringing was the Diggersby which was choice carved <coughs> with U-turn superpower return and um, ice punch because ice really puts in a lot of work against this team I was gonna bring earthquake but even though return does more than ice moves I just bought ice punch for the ice score that he had at the back but he did not bring it then I had cliff fable which uh, was an offensive cliff fable no not magic card life orb it was holding the bay which reduces the poison damage and uh, it was mainly to you know bait the Gengar bait the Roserade as you can see there and go uh, attack me and then you just die cause I was having Psy Shock as well then I was having Moon Blast like I said then I had Thunderbolt and I had Flamethrower for the Fortress Thunderbolt was mainly for the Moltres and uh, the Empoleon mainly the Empoleon cause fun fact I did not really prep for Moltres I literally overlooked it so that was really scary when I saw it in the team preview then after that I was bringing Sneasel my favorite Sneasel set that is max attack max speed life orb with knockoff ice shard icicle crash low kick also normally I bring adamant on Sneasel this time I was bringing jolly so that the Gengar does not outspeed me but he did not even bring it also I was running pursuit over knockoff but in the mock battle I realized that knockoff is always the better play than pursuit cause it wasn't really working out so next mon I had was Agron physically defensive with some attack 
and some special attack you'll see why investment with stealth rocks heavy slam earthquake and drum roll da -da 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 fire blast and you might be really shocked why fire blast you can just run fire punch well it's for the fortress and fortress takes the fire punch like a boss so i needed to put fire blast cause it does not take it well it literally gets awkward by a fire blast with some special attack investment i think i had just four special attack investments so that isn't even some i think it even does it without it so i was just like putting it just for fun cause i i was like okay in case you know i need fire blast for some other case which i know i won't but still i just didn't and then after that i had vaporeon which was a specially defensive set with scald ice beam a uh, heal bell and wish pretty standard set on vaporeon then he was bringing the mew the most versatile pokemon except for smeagol but i don't really count that then after that mega altaria really really scary sweeper but i had mega Agron. then and also clefable of course then he had the Moltres which I did not prep for and I was really freaked out on seeing it especially if it was a power herb solar beam set because if it was me then I would have bought it to counter Vaporeon because it's just me and then Roserade was there really good mon decently fast good offensively and really good special bulk so who knows what he could bring then Scrafty mainly I thought the D-Dan set but I wasn't really worried because at plus 2 or 3 Mega Agron takes about 30 to 40 percent from a drain punch so I wasn't really worried about that and then he was building uh, bringing the fortress which is just hazard all over the place and rapid spinning and all the nuisance so let's just get on with the battle without any further ado so before getting into this battle this battle is really hacksy so watch out I didn't like it, he didn't like it, no one likes hacks in a game, whether you lose or whether you win. So basically, he leads with he leads with this crafty, I lead with Megatron, possibly he led with this crafty predicting my Megatron because of the move he goes for right here. He goes for a super fang which I was really shocked on seeing, you know, cause I didn't really expect him to bring something like that, I was like he's just gonna straight up deed and I even after he led with it i didn't see and as you can see the great punch does really little damage i just straight up go for a heavy stamp to see how much it does and then after looking at how much it does i switch out into my cliff fable because i was really worried about the knockoff because he gets rid of my berry and the super fang by the way that is why i did not pause right there that's why i did not switch out when uh, he went for super fang on mega agron because i was like i don't want to get super fang on something else so he goes for the super fang there and first hacks right there he misses the super fang which really mattered because painted pink you know getting a clefable low is really important even though it wasn't uh, really important in this game because it's an offensive cliff and uh, but still it really mattered because you know clefable is really slow so you just uh, kill it after especially when you're not bulky you just kill it after getting it decently low so that was really bad hacks so i just straight up go for a moon blast to finish it off and there comes a roserade as i saw this roserade i was really happy because as you know my trap i had the berry on a uh, cliff favor to trap it so he goes for a poison type move and i go for a side shot getting the kill so uh I had the berry and he brings it in I was happy he goes for hidden power I don't know what hidden power but possibly predicting the mega agron and I just give the kill cause who thinks that someone is gonna run a berry to trap something I mean it's just me like I said he brings in fortress I don't know why cause even though he saw the shy shock he might be like shy shock moon blast maybe wish protect heal bell or healing wish or something like that but he did not know it's offensive clef yet so he did not know I'm, I'm carrying flamethrower but to be honest flamethrower and fire blast are really obvious moves on clefable so i don't know why he did this so i just went for flamethrower got the kill cause they even run flamethrower and fire blast in standard ou tiers so 
didn't really understand that but okay good for me he brings in the Mew so even though I could have done decently damage with a Moonblast I decided to switch out cause I just played safe cause who knows what Mew is carrying so I switch out into Mega Aggron thinking that anyways Mega Aggron is pretty useless right here I'm just gonna sack it off and he goes for will o -Wisp and misses right there which once again mattered cause will o -Wisp on Mega Aggron especially when it hits so hard even with that extremely good ball because it does it stops it from doing both it cripples it as well as it decreases attack so this one really mattered because after that i do some really good damage on scrafty with heavy slam and it does really good amount i was actually just seeing once again how much heavy slam does and i just go for another heavy slam and get the kill which wouldn't have happened if you got the burn of course, I had Pokemon which could easily revenge kill it, but still, it, it really did matter. So, really sorry about that, because that, I believe, is the hacks that mattered the most on my part. So here, even though I could have just sacked off Megatron, I switch out into Vaporeon thinking that I might get a 6-0 at this point. So I go into Vaporeon, he hits his Fire Blast, it gets uh, critted, but... I wasn't really feeling bad at this point because how much hacks I had gotten. So he goes for a hurricane and it connects. Uh, but he missed a hurricane before, which was pretty bad because then, you know, wish and stuff wouldn't have happened. So once again, there. But of course, it's hurricane. That is why I won't it matter that much because it's hurricane. It's like a focus blast basically. So yeah, one had almost had to miss. So yeah, I was really feeling bad for him at that point once again because another miss. So he goes into Altaria, setting up the Dragon Dance. And uh, I just had H2O there. It, it wasn't really important for me anymore. I just go for the Ice Beam, go for the damage. Then Altaria goes for a return and picks up the kill. So I didn't really want to switch into Mega Aggron and all that. I just wanted to do as much damage as possible and get it low. I go into Michael Fable, it was unaware, as, as I told you. So I take the return, not really well, but I just take it, and I get the kill with Moonblast. Even if he didn't, he didn't, he killed me with this return, I could have just gone into Sneasel and I shattered. I just wanted another kill for an offensive Cliff Fable. So I just uh, switch out uh, into the Gusby. Wait, pause right there. I know sacking off Cliff Fable was the best play right there but it did so much for us in this battle i i didn't want to sack it off i think because it was one two three kills for us so i didn't want to sack it off so i wouldn't bob the builder to sack bob the builder off he connects as well which i was super happy about and then i realized i had made the bad play and i u-turn into the club fable to sack it off after realizing what i just did and messed up even though it wasn't that messed up i i just you know at that point i thought it that way so you know i switch out into a fable trying to sack it off he goes for a foul play he misses a little bit now pause 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 the fable don't play pause here once again a willow miss so here i really 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 felt bad for him so what i did was after moon blasting once because I did not think he would miss a little bit. I really felt bad for him. So he went for the foul play. So I went for Psy Shock. So that he could actually will over me and you know I really felt bad for him. But he ends up not will over even though I told him and he goes for a soft boil but it's just fine. He missed a willow. His choice. So at this point I'm like okay he does not want to willow me. I'll just go for a moon blast. I, you know I gave him two turns. So yeah, I just go for a moon blast, get maximum damage. Yeah, as if it mattered, it didn't cause Sneasel easily kills it with a knockoff, easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I just go into Sneasel, get Sneasel another kill. Sneasel the beast. I, l I love Sneasel. I'm s I was so excited to use Sneasel and it's putting in the work in this league till this point and hope it does not change. Touch wood. So yes guys, now we won our 4th week, so now we are at 
uh, record of three wins and one loss, which is pretty good. After the first week getting swept by Belly Drum Chestnut, we have made a really good return, and I'm pretty proud about that because our team is good and I'm pretty comfortable with it right now. So really happy the way we are doing for me and for us, and we will we will win this draft league and we'll prove that we are the very best that no one ever was so guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button you know if you haven't you know it's it's your choice you hit it after you hit it before but if you like it then hit it and if you don't like it hit the dislike button and tell me what I need to improve on in the comment section down below share this video with other Pokemon lovers so they can check me out also subscribe if you aren't already for more fun Pokemon content also the link to the previous ideal match would be in the uh, description down below even though the quality was bad so once again I'm really sorry about this so guys I leave you here I'll come back at 3 into 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second